Hello and welcome to Red Live. I hope that everybody who is watching this is having an awesome morning. Me, I'm doing good, man. No complaints whatsoever. So we're going to jump straight into the news. Our first topic, Ukozi FM presenter gets the chop. So the latest reports are saying that Ukozi FM music compiler and radio presenter Keta Kuala has been retrenched. Now the news was confirmed by the acting spokesperson of the SAPC. Now in a brief statement, the spokesperson said that the SAPC can confirm that Mr. Ketakwala is affected by section 189 process. Now, I don't know what exactly is this 189 section process, so I went and googled it, of course. And according to Google, section 189 of the Labor Relations Act permits employers to dismiss employees for operational requirements. These are defined as requirements based on economic, technological, structural, or similar needs of the employer. So that is uh, what the statement basically reads if that's the section 189 they are talking about. Now, also, I did do a story about the Hawks investigating payola cases. And in that particular article, his name was actually mentioned in it uh, as one of the people who are being investigated. So I don't know if the SAPC, you know, saying that it is the section 189 process, uh, they're trying to get ahead of the story. But uh, like I'm saying, if you do want to watch that video, I will put a link in the top right hand of the screen. But Moving right along from that, Mr. Ketakwala joined Ukozi FM as one of the music compilers in the late 1990s. Now, over the years, he has built quite a name for himself and has become one of the leading presenters within the stations. Now, some of the slots that he has presented include the top 20, party times on Saturdays from 6 p.m. to midnight. He also did a magazine program on Thursdays and Fridays from 7 p.m. to midnight. But yeah, according to the latest reports, he has been retrained. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you are enjoying the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Zotto Abantu says that she doesn't have couches in her house because you are not welcome. Entertainer Zotto Abantu has revealed the decision behind her not having couches or chairs on the ground floor of her house. Now Zotto Abantu took to Instagram to share some funny moments as she was about to shoot the diary session of her reality TV show but she soon realized that the crew had to move upstairs for that to happen. Now this is because Zotto Abantu doesn't keep any furniture that people can sit on that is chairs or couches downstairs because she doesn't want people to get comfortable and stay longer than they should in her house. She said in a video guys i'm doing my diaries today then i'm thinking that i don't have a chair zotto explained that you know why i don't buy a chair you are not welcome in my house you are not here to stay long anyway you must state your business and then leave all right zotto abantu but anyways let's take a listen to that video hi guys zotto abantu guys i'm doing my diaries today lately then i'm thinking i don't have a chair you know why i don't buy a chair like you are not welcome in my house. I was also sala. It's either you say your business, it's about work, sasanganisa. Like I can't give you a chair. That's why I don't buy a chair. Like you are not in my thoughts, Uguti. Fnege rentele wena. Fnege ntengele wena stulo. Like you can't sit at my house. Like. Oh, oh my god. Like what the fuck? So yeah, there you have heard it from Zotto Abantu herself. But moving right along, Zotto Abantu has been getting some great feedback from her fans since her reality show Zotto Abantu Uncensored returned. Now, in an interview with Chisa Live last year, Zotto did express her excitement over Moja Love approving season two of her much loved reality show. At the time, Zotto Abantu said the following, I know that people know me for my body and my dance moves. After all, it's what I do for a living. But I want my fans to also see that I'm about more things 
things than just my ass. Even more than the brand, the business, the money, the life I have lived has a lot of lessons for people to learn. Ah yes, Zotto Abantu is more than her dancing and her booty. Now, at the time, Zotto also did say that her fans would be pleased with what she plans to include in her show because she would be serving content she's sure they want to see. Now, going off some of the reactions on social media every time her show is, it does seem that Zotto Abantu is definitely delivering on that promise. Our next topic, Rihanna dragged for sampling DJ Maporisa and Busiswa's Midnight Stereo. International superstar Rihanna's new advertising campaign for her beauty line, Fenty Beauty, has come under fire for using South African artists' soundtrack without giving them credit. Now, Rihanna posted a teaser video of the brand new Makeup Foundation range using DJ Maporisa's hit of 2017, Midnight Stereo, that features Busiswa, Moonchild, and DJ Tira. Now, we'll put a link to that in the description down below if you want to go watch it. Obviously, it's got some copyright issues, as you would imagine. But moving right along, South African Twitter did get a hold of the ad and question whether the brand had bought the rights to use the single. Some even went as far as saying that Rihanna has stolen from Africa and its artists. One user on social media wrote, Fenty Beauty has the time to use South African music on their ads, but don't even have a single store in Africa. I need Gabza, Maporisa, Busiswa to sue them because that's what Rihanna would have done. Another user wrote Busiswa, Dimistering Rihanna, we'll see about that. <laughs> that one's actually quite good. Another user wrote, this thing is simple. Rihanna used Midnight Staring for commercial use and she must cut the check. Maporisa will make a lot of money since he owns his masters. Featured artists including Busiswa must also eat depending on the agreement they had with Por. Now when it comes to the artists of the song, taking to Twitter, Busiswa said that the company used a remake of the song Midnight Staring and thus didn't need permission. So according to that, it does seem that Busiswa is defending Rihanna. Now Busiswa wrote the following on Twitter, now nah, at Fenty Beauty just used a remake of Midnight Staring with my voice to avoid paying us for it. I'm sad, but it's the game, I guess, with uh, one of those yellow faces. I don't know, is that a sad face, constipated face? There's the face. Now, it does seem that Busiswa also told those that were giving her legal advice that she does have legal representatives to fight such legal battles for her. So, moving on from Busiswa, taking a look at what DJ Maporisa has said, he also responded to the outrage, sharing his frustration that Rihanna cut and pasted his work for advertising purposes. To be honest with you, I'm not even going to attempt to read that for you. I'm just going to put it in the screen. I don't want to butcher a language. Now, getting back to Busiswa, it does seem that after much thought, she did backtrack on her earlier statements and she ended up coming to Rihanna's defense saying that she might have not been personally aware. And sampling music and not paying artists is legal practice, right? At Sony Music. And she also posted the following tweet, Bangastaba nisi chomi at Rihanna. Good night mtase. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.